Hey there, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun again. Today we're going to talk about a range of cells and giving them names only during the course of your macro. And then the name will be gone at the end. It's called setting a range, setting an object as a range. And so let's hit Alt F11 and dive right in. Today you can see that I've highlighted A1 through C4. And so we're going to use that as our range. Let's dive right in. Um, you can declare this. Uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it my range. My RNG. We're going to dim or declare my range as range. Okay. Uh, that's the first step that we can take if we want to. Then we're going to set my range equals and in this case we're going to hard code the range of A1 through C4 range oop, range parentheses quote A1 colon C4 end quote in parentheses so now we have set up my range to be that okay from there on out we can well let's just get there I'm gonna put a stopper next to this line and if I hit F5 it'll run everything up to that point which really hasn't done anything um, so this is not this object is nothing until we run this code so if I hit F8 it will have ran it and my range is now equal to this range of cells let's try something let's say uh, my range dot and as you notice as soon as I hit a dot there's all my menu why did my menu show up now why because we declared it as a range it sure helps Excel know what we're trying to do with this this word or phrase called my range it tells it what we're gonna do so what uh, they help us out by giving us lots of choices we got activate how about let's do that my range dot activate I'm gonna hit F5 and we'll take that off here F Five, F5. My range dot activate. Do you see that it selected the range that we wanted? How about this? This is going to blow your mind. Uh, we'll take away the my range activate. We're going to. I'll even click away just for a good demonstration here. We're going to get the sum of that. So how do we do that? We're going to say. How about we'll say my sum, and you don't have to put m y before things. This is just for our demonstration. You could call this anything you want. In fact, we're going to call it Susie. By Jove, we're going to call it Susie, even though it's going to be the sum. We'll say application. Susie is application dot worksheet function dot sum. This is how you get into the worksheet functions, and we want the sum of what? My range okay same thing with application dot worksheet function dot average or dot sum if and all these things so let's see what we get if we put a stopper right here I'll, uh, f5 and if I hit f8 to run this final line well the value is zero well that's no fun in fact let's put, take that off and we'll just say stop that way I'm gonna put some numbers in here okay now let's run it again. F5. Now we've stopped here, but we've still gotten to this point. 379.55. So they took the sum of my range and they named it Susie. So we could even do, we could carry on with that variable Susie equals Susie plus 69. And what would that bring? Let's go there and find out. F8. It says. Susie is now equal to 448.55. So that's how to set a range. A lot of things you can do with that. Like I said, you could say that you want Susie to be equal to the application worksheet function sum. So the sum of my range plus 99 and divided by 15. Um, put my put my parentheses there. You can do anything you want with that basically. We'll hit F5 again. Now to this point we got uh, whoops went too far. Let's take that out. Okay so when you get here it's 31.903 repeating. 
that that is very powerful you can do with that so again uh, you can do other worksheet functions you can uh, do all kinds of things but that's how you set a range and you can name it anything you want within reason and you can put all kinds of things in here you could put uh, a1 through C4 and D5 and that would be your new range and uh, so just play around with that thanks for watching